Hi guys. Sorry. We're going to have to be live this way today cuz there we can restart it. Uh it, it doesn't matter. Huh? It's five people. There's five people there. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What do y'all want? Y'all want to go live like this or should we change it to horizontal? It really doesn't matter. Um cuz it's not two of us in the shot. And, right. Uh, well, and I can turn it towards you, you know. Every now and then. I think we can just go live this way, guys. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Let me get you the. Let's see if I can prop oh, it up here. Because of the. Well, what do you want to do? You want to change it? Let's see if we can prop it like this. If not, then. Oh. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to make them sick. Oh, shaking everybody all over. All right, guys, we're going to get there. I promise. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Belly Acres Kitchen. We have to go live this way because um, uh, I didn't hit the button and well, switch it to horizontal. The uh, YouTube has made it to where you have to go. There's an extra step that you have to go in there and you have to click it to say horizontal because they recommend that you go vertical. It's recommended to go vertical when you go live. And for whatever reason, it's not, you, I, I can't read yeah, comments. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I caught you. Happy Saturday. Uh, Hi, Julie. Trish Bean says, good morning. What are we making today? Treasure Hunter Neal says, good morning, Rachel and Rusty. Good morning. Uh, Jovita says, howdy, it's howdy, everyone. It's not. You, I, I can't. Uh, Neil says, I promoted your live on two old people on a couch is live this morning. That's oh, awesome, awesome, Neil. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sandy Wilkerson says, good morning. Yes, Julie Heitman says, oh, yay, I caught you. Happy Saturday. Yes. Uh, Trish Keen says, buenos dias, Jovita. James Ross says, good morning, Jovita. Neil says, good morning, Jovita. Vicky Kopatz, good morning from Kentucky. Good morning. Robin Anderson says, good morning, all. Good morning. Yesterday, or yesterday, last week, I was so prepared for you guys. <clears throat> I had cut the onion off camera, and today, here I am, um, cutting onions. You all don't see me cry. Uh, normally, <clears throat> I have contacts in, and so it doesn't bother me at all. But uh, James Hall says, hey, Rusty and Rocky. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Frog says, good morning, Sissy and Rusty. Good morning, Sissy. Good morning, Mama. So good Frog morning. is my sister down in um, South Texas, and Mama is watching as well. So hi, guys. So if y'all want to say hi to Mama and Brenda my Sissy. Hunt. Brenda Hunt says, good morning from Savannah, Georgia. Love you guys. I'm one good of your morning. biggest fans. Uh -huh. Love your family and fam. You are so awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. Um, I am actually, I'm going to tell them myself. Well, we just says, good morning, frog from our damp, cold South Texas. <laughs> uh, so one of my best <coughs> friends, uh, Megan is down there as well in South Texas. She went this weekend to go, uh, visit her, one of her best friends over there. And so, uh, her and her granddaughter just took a weekend trip and I think that's awesome. So if she's usually in here as well, but I'm sure she'll watch it later. So hey to Megan. Uh hope you're enjoying the weather down there too. I know it's cold and damp down there, but it's cold here, you guys. Mm -hmm. Like the real feel right before we went to bed last night was 23 degrees. That north wind kicked in. It was so cold yesterday. <laughs> oh, it was miserable. Yes. So luckily. I was subbing yesterday, <laughs> so I was in the warm school all day, but, you know. <laughs> says it's 51 degrees here in South Texas, and it's miserable. It's miserable. I'm so sorry, Hobita. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're freezing at 51. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so let me tell on myself. Uh, Russ and I had decided we were not getting each other Valentine's gifts this year because we've just been so strapped and so busy and uh, so many things going on here at the farm. We feel like, honestly, I, I can't speak for Rusty. I mean, we've talked about it, but this is how I feel. This is my dream. Uh, we, are, I am living my dream. That's all I need, right? And so Rusty still, because he is the guy he is, 
went to town and got me some chocolates. And I was like, no, we said no gifts. And he said, oh, that's okay. You know, I just, I was just there. It's nothing. It's just chocolates. And I said, well, <clears throat> my gift to you is I will make you whatever you want for supper whatever you want, I'll make for supper. And he chose enchiladas, not the cheating enchilada casseroles that I do, because I have that on here, uh, that video, not cheating enchilada casseroles. He wanted real enchiladas. <clears throat> so I said, okay, I'll make you enchiladas. We got so busy, you guys, that by the time, um, by the time we got to uh, supper, we drug ourselves in. I made um, bacon Goodbye, and waffles. Nico. Bacon and waffles. And yeah. So I have not made his enchiladas yet. So I decided to go live and make his enchiladas. And what? Did somebody leave? Oh, somebody made an inappropriate comment. Oh. I just told him goodbye. See ya. Did somebody time him out or kick him out? It's or... gone. Oh, okay. I good. said goodbye and it disappeared. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, Trish says it's 20 here and it snowed yesterday. James Hall says I have my heater set at 63 overnight and I woke up to 57 in my house. Oh, God. Yeah. Christy Bett says it's 31 now, going to get low 20s tonight. I hate it. Go away, winter. Right. Arita says we keep it at 75. <laughs> wow, I'd be sweating. Yeah. Um, Oh, we enchiladas. Yes, <laughs> we have had a couple of really great days, like uh, weather-wise. So we have been outside, just killing it. I cannot wait. If you guys follow the uh, Belly Acres Kitchen channel, I mean the Robertson's Belly Acres channel, ah, you guys are going to see some stuff. It's just been awesome over there, uh, getting things done. But um, yeah. Uh, if you guys don't have a silicone um, garlic oh, peeler. peeler, like invest in one of these. Look, okay, so see, look at this. Katie garlic. Texas is in the house. It's good morning. Clove. I haven't cut the ends off or nothing. Now I'm just going to use this. Just roll it back and forth in this silicone. I know there's other ways. I know I've tried all of them. And they all work effectively. I just really like this. <clears throat> um silicone peeler look at that it just knocks it right off i'm saying that and then now it's not going to work but it's for real it's just so super easy i know i'm getting it all in the <laughs> i'm getting in the onions normally i don't even have to do this this one's just hanging on but look Ta -da! katie sec texas or See, Reineke says, sorry, busy today, can't stay. That's okay. That's okay, thanks for popping in. Katie Texas says, good morning, everyone. Heather Hopper says, hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I'm out of that spot. Trish Look. Keen says, Texas is calling me home. Too cold here. Yes. Take me home. Uh, Treasure Hunter Neil says, enchiladas. Enchiladas. Did someone say enchiladas? <laughs> enchiladas. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So, says, yes, Neil, they are delicious and cheesy, meaty, and so good. Yes. So there we are. There's all of our garlic cloves that are that are mushed up. That's going to be for the salsa. I'm also going to make a poblano salsa <clears throat> to go with it. Um, now these are the way my mama makes uh, enchiladas. I mean, ish. You know, I can't cook like my mama exactly, but. Uh, so these are more Tex-Mex enchiladas. They're not, uh, you know, they're, they're going to have more of the Tex-Mex flavor, which I think is awesome because Tex-Mex is kind of a blend of uh, flavors. You've got, you know, the, the Mexican flavors along with uh, native flavors and just, it's just a really big blend uh, with the Tex-Mex. It's less of the authentic Mexico flavor but it just adds its own character. So um, we're making Tex-Mex enchiladas. So don't come at me when I'm not using, you know, the correct chiles to put in to make the correct salsa to go on the, like I know that there are different ways to make enchiladas and I've made enchiladas the other way as well, but I wanted to make my mama's enchiladas today. So, and we that's are what we're so. In the house. It says hello from Central Florida, 65 and rainy. Uh, 
And James, James Hall says, just plain yummy. Just plain yummy. Hovita says, yay, Tex-Mex. Yes. Katie, Texas says, good morning, Hovita. If Gaming Channel says, yesterday I had some enchiladas. They were so good. Oh, yay, that's so good. Okay, I'm going to turn you guys this way just a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to turn my comal on. Actually, I think I'm going to use my big... Um, my big skillet because I am going to roast all of the things that I want to go in my salsa. But I am going to start with my chiles because I do want to be able to peel those uh, so that I can put them in my salsa. Uh, I'm not going to do that <clears throat> to the peppers yet. Eh, I guess I can. So, Covita says Tex Mex is Mexican with a Mexican American twist. It is. It's amazing. It's Julie so good. Highstand says still unboxing, still unboxing boxes, frying store processed hash browns for breakfast, and a banana and diet coke. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> a banana and a diet coke. <laughs> Trish King so, says yeah. love me some Tex Mex. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Yeah, so I need butter. I need some butter. We always need some butter. Mm, butter. Right? Always need butter. Always need butter. So butter's the, better. The cool thing about um, the Tex Mex is uh, Tex Mex enchiladas is it's very few ingredients. It's really quite easy. And like I said, this isn't exactly how my mama makes it. Uh, this is my adaptation of my mama's cooking. I'm saying all this because my mama's watching. She's gonna be like, well, I know how I make it. We have a. A surprise guest. We do. We have Kevin from Lazy Pond Farm is in the house. <laughs> Welcome. I haven't seen you around for a while there, brother. Yeah. Katie Texas says, I had some crappy enchiladas yesterday. Tasted like they put sugar in the sauce. Uh, they might have, <clears throat> but they may have, or put chocolate or something for a type of mole, probably. Uh, but the chocolate doesn't really add sweetness to it because it's not sweet chocolate it's dark so i don't know maybe they did had some sugar or something i'm sorry uh, well it's all in the sauce right <laughs> kevin says rusty on the comments hobita says rusty rocks the comments kevin says ha 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 slipping back on the tube that's awesome yeah, if gaming says i had a mexican friend and they cook so good they give me some mexican they gave me some mexicans are the best cooks yes <laughs> well, not the best, but we are. We do love to cook. Some of us. <laughs> okay, guys, <clears throat> get ready. If you get motion sickness, I'm fixing to move y'all. So close your eyes and I'll tell you when to open them. It'd be easier if we had a good tripod that Kevin had to steal back from us. Oh, right. We would have just broke it, too. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've broken our <coughs> tripods. Uh, and so this one over here. Okay, there we are. Okay. So here's what I'm doing. Ooh. Okay, I don't well, know. If I'm Katie, come to South Texas for the best enchiladas ever. Okay. Uh, Katie says Alabama hasn't a clue about Tex-Mex. I've got butter in this uh, pan. Kevin says, "Ha ha! I've broken so many." <laughs> I know it's just been so bad. Okay, guys, I am so sorry. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this. I may have to have Rusty uh, or Desi come and run the camera. Okay. Okay, don't breathe. Nobody breathe. We're crooked and we're here, but nobody breathe. Okay, so butter, butter. We got some butter. And then we've got some diced onions. Half of a diced onion. That is half a stick of butter. Half of a diced onion. I'm trying to be better about saying what, what I'm putting in there, right? So, and then, and then, we are going to go, we're going to saute these. So, we're going to cook these until they get, um, uh, like, translucent. Oh, we just says, when I think of Alabama, I never think of enchiladas. <laughs> Katie says, I so want to move back to Texas. I've been gone for seven years and ready to move back. Sorry, guys. All right. And then this, in this pan, I have uh, poblanos and jalapenos. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm just going to let them char. See how they're starting to get a char? Oops. Oh, see how they're starting to get a char right in there? Chloe W. says, so how many people does this serve? Um, this will probably serve, let's see, how many can I get in that? 
it depends on how many enchiladas you eat. If if you're thinking, sorry, I'm moving you guys again. Uh, if you're thinking like um, uh, three a piece, right? Mm -hmm. um, I can probably fit a dozen in here, so probably four. Yeah. So this will probably feed four, um, just because of my pan. I probably have more. So. Uh, Hobita says, Rachel, when you char the peppers, do you oil the pan? Um, I did not oil this pan at all, and I don't normally because I normally char it on uh, my uh, cast iron, rather if it's my comal or if it's my cast iron big skillet, I char in that so I don't oil the pan because it's already been seasoned. So, yeah. Uh, so then there's that. Then there's that. <laughs> We have 111 people in the house this morning. Nice. Good morning, you guys. I'm sorry we're crooked. I can just kind of be like this. We're not crooked. We are. It looks like we're crooked. We're no. We're no. We're no. We're no crooked. Sorry that we are vertical um, <laughs> and not horizontal. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> YouTube has started. Um, their suggestion when you go live is to go vertical. And so if when you're setting it up, if you don't go in there and say, um, hey, I want this to be horizontal, James, it will James says we got no sound. Uh -oh. There's the sound. It's my... <clears throat> yeah, it's on. I don't know why it was in and out, but we're, we're both blue and green. Okay, everybody good? We got a sound? Okay. Kevin says, do you ever fire fire char? Fire char. I have not because I do not have an outside kitchen, but that is something way down the line that I do want to have. I follow a YouTube <clears throat> YouTube creator. She's also on TikTok, and and it's called Cocinando con Raquel. If you guys she is BA get a chance, I will put her link later in the description below. She has like 800 and something thousand subscribers on YouTube. And I don't know how many millions on, on, uh, like 7.2 million on, on TikTok, TikTok. Wasn't it? Her videos are all in Spanish, but the way she cooks is so amazing. And she started out with an outdoor kitchen that her husband built for her on in, using cinder blocks. And she cooks everything on wood. And it is just amazing. And she does a lot of the charring in the wood and uh, the ashes. And I like since I've, I've been watching her for a couple of years and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And uh, they just bought a new house. So we were just watching that this morning. And I said, oh, my gosh, Rusty, they're going to have he's going to have to build her a new <laughs> outdoor kitchen. But, um, yeah, that's that's coming. Hopefully <laughs> one day. Uh, James says you have a gas stove. I do. It's not. But charring over gas flame is not the same as an open fire. But and I can't. It, it does. And she has done that before. But. It's just a different. Um, Allison says, my mom is watching this with me. Oh, That's hi. awesome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, other mama. <laughs> okay, I just went and turned all of the uh, chiles over. I wanted to take you guys. Listen, I'm going to. Oh, we just says, Rusty, go build an outside kitchen, please. <laughs> yeah, Rusty, get on <laughs> Let that. Let me just whip one right up. You know, we, we don't have a million. If Gaming says, Mexicans are super nice, good cooks, and super creative. Oh, see, look at that char on that side. Isn't that beautiful? And not every single piece of it has to be charred. I am going to char it more than that. It's all in the sweat is what you want. Like you want to char it to where it's really black. These are going to make everybody choke here in a minute. But um, you want it black. You know, you want it to char. And then um, the trick is putting it in the plastic bag and letting it sweat. And the longer you let it sweat, the easier it is to peel them. And that's why you're doing it to make it to make it easier to peel. Okay, let me move you guys this way. Kevin says, this you way. might have one already. Have have you ever done a video on proper way to make lengua for tacos? Uh, we have. So there is a video um, on this channel of making lengua tacos. And I think it's just the thumbnail says lengua tacos. So uh, you'll have to go look for that, Kevin. It's actually really good. Ben's over acres is here. 
Good morning. Uh, Kathleen McGinley is here. She says, can someone throw up a link to her channel? Would love to see wood cooking. Yes. Uh, Elaine Buchka. It's says, called Cocinando Jovita. You probably can. Cocinando con Raquel is her channel. Uh, like I said, it's all in Spanish, but uh, really you're just watching the food, right? So, uh, so it's really oh, good. Oh no. Elaine says, I'm in the kitchen. This took forever to type. Had a bad fall yesterday. May have broken my arm and definitely a lump on my forehead and a black eye. Oh my Love goodness. Your, oh my goodness, Elaine. Elaine. I, I am so sorry. So yes. Allison says, do you speak of the spinach? I mean, do you speak Spanish? I do. I speak <laughs> Spanish. I'm not great at it, but I do speak Spanish and I understand it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I used to translate when we lived back in the panhandle. I used to spend my whole Fridays translating at the bank. And um, I'd come home so tongue-tied because... Chloe, there's four tomatoes there. Four tomatoes cut in half. Okay, so I did, uh, I forgot to turn down my heat over here, so my onions did get a little bit uh, caramelized. Um, James says, I grew up in California, and the Mexicans cooked, the Mexican cooks made salsa on the char broiler. Yeah, absolutely. You can use that. Jeff Gaming says, I remember once I entered the kitchen when my mom was cooking peppers, and the smoke made me cry. They burned my eyes. Yes, they will start making you cough. Uh, we usually just open windows. So now I'm just kind of turning these. I just want a good char. That's the advantage of sticking these down in the um, ashes is that you're covering all sides at the same time. Kevin says, got to go find that one. I love ch charred peppers like this. Really enjoy Serrano's onions charred on the side for tacos or tortillas. Yes, absolutely. Charred or fried. You can deep fry them. Um, not deep fry them, but yeah, deep fry them. You take your um, jalapeno and just fry it. My mom used to do that sometimes. Thank you for sharing that link, Ovita. Oh, did she find it? Yes, she found oh, it. Oh, you're awesome, Ovita. <clears throat> the sassy homestead says, no. Come on, stay standing up. Stay. This chile is being lazy. Ovita says, I'm a professional Spanglish speaker. That's right, me too. <laughs> yo tambien, yo tambien. Okay. So, sassy I just have... Don't cook that. <laughs> I just have one pound of hamburger. This fresh hamburger that we bought from our neighbor. So it's the good stuff. Uh, it's, I just put that right in there with the onions. And I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning it. It's, it's not completely cooked yet. So we went salt and pepper. And then everybody with me. What is the, the uh, trifecta here? The Tex-Mex trifecta. The Tex-Mex trifecta. Can anybody tell us what that is? <laughs> uh, salt. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> Where's my... Goodbye, George. We getting some trolls this yeah, morning. Yeah, we're getting some pretty... Pretty vulgar trolls. Yeah. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. But thank you to our moderators who are no, handling I, that. I took George Floyd and he is now blocked. Oh, nice. All right, so the trifecta, the Tex-Mex trifecta, is going to be garlic, cumin, and chili powder. Sorry y'all are enduring those trolls, you guys. Say. Mary Christopherson says, good morning, friends. Good morning. I'm if turn says, I woke up and the under part of my couch was ripped, then one of my dogs went in the rip. It was so funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. laughs> you All said right. that you caramelize those peppers or those onions uh yeah and manana says wtf boo i yep, know it happens i know i didn't turn it down so okay so here we go uh cominos so you're gonna go cumin this is the tex-mex trifecta here you're gonna go garlic i don't know if i put garlic in here already that's okay i like garlic garlic and chili powder And for the um, enchiladas, you do want you want that red. That's so. nothing, Kevin. I'm not a moderator either. <laughs> I'm gonna make Kevin a mod because he said if I was a mod, I'd help. I can't make him a mod. You can't make him a mod. Why? Nope. Yeah, well, if I hold touch and hold his name. Oh, because you're watching. 
maybe. Oh, I can yeah. make you a mod from here, Kevin. Give me two seconds. Uh, Rydell Avalar says, nah, looks good. Kobita says, you got it, Christy. Thank you so much for watching out for us. Absolutely. Yes, thank you, guys. Junaid Mia says, hello from London, UK. London, UK. Hydro Hat says, hello. We have 147 in the chat today. Lazy Pond, where are you? Uh, Kevin, comment again it's so a I can sheep. find you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, he says, see. ha, 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 no rush, but when I'm in, I'll help. Absolutely, Kevin. Remove as managing moderator. It says you're a moderator. He's, he's not blue. Oh, that's Jovita. Sorry, Jovita. <laughs> Lynn Peer Pears. Lazy Pond. Percy. Pond. Uh, I bet it already. smells really good and tastes even better. Yes, yes, it does. All right. Hydro Hat says, one time I made a pork butt, but the recipe said cinnamon, and I put ground cumin in it instead. Oh. Oh, well, that'd be all right. Yeah. Okay. Amir, I wish I could read your comment. It's in Indian, it looks like. Uh, can you hit translate? Is there a translate button? Nope. I can report or block it. K62 says, good morning, guys. Julie Highstand says, oh, you win winnies. You don't know what hot weenies. You don't know what hot is until you've been cooking habanero jelly. Ooh. You can smell it out in the street. Sending you guys some soon. Oh, Julie. Yes. Oh, Julie, don't tease oh, me. Oh, Julie, I'm going <laughs> to turn you guys over here to talk to Rusty while I go and grab... Uh, Ooh, look at the smoke. Can skirts, you guys see the smoke? Skirts kid says you could build a kitchen over that cellar building. <laughs> right? Well, right? That's mama's bedroom. That's going to be mama's bedroom, though. That's We can't get rid of that. If I let you out, uh, are you gonna, should I let Mayday out? Sure. You better be good. Newman's Don't go to the neighbors. Says, good morning, y'all. Well, we just smash that thumbs up, y'all. Peggy says, OMG. I'm just opening doors, so then that way, windows. Uh, Lazy says, hello, Evelyn. Christy Betts says, laugh out loud. Neil, I had corn dogs. Enchiladas sound better. <laughs> uh, Eileen Taylor says, hi there, from Aberdeen in Scotland. Found you on a short and thought I'd join the live. Oh, thank That's you awesome. so welcome, much. Welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome to the madness. Yes. Uh, Christy says, Eileen. Welcome, Scotland, to the kitchen. Yes, welcome. Derek Jackson says, Olivia is a lot of people. Yes, there's a lot of people in here today. 14 Edits says, hi. I'm going to flip you all around, so hold on to your hats. Here we go. Maria Martinez says, hi, good morning. Okay, so the jalapenos don't have to be peeled, but they are nicely charred for the salsa. This can probably... Go a little bit longer. Jovita says, or Kevin says, Jovita, I'm an old friend trying to come back and hang out with my friend, all my friends. That's yes, awesome. Yes, that is we are awesome, so glad Kevin. To have you back, man. I can't imagine how big the boys are. I oh, bet they got you running. Goodness. So here we are. Look at that. That's a nice char. We're going to put this right inside of a plastic bag. Ooh, 14 Edit says, off. I just found you and already love you. Oh, awesome. So we're going to put this in here in the. It's, see how it gets foggy? It's going to sweat, so Wedge Dev we just hello. set this that aside so nice. and let that sweat until we need it. And that's, when, that's <clears throat> you do that so you can peel it. Maria Martinez says, what you making? Uh, enchiladas this morning. Jovita says, welcome to all of our new subscribers. Absolutely welcome every each and every one of you. Yes. Donnie West says, I'm your biggest fan. I've never watched this channel before. I'm Aww. just really fat, and I bet you're my biggest. I bet I'm your biggest fan. Oh. I don't know about all that. Allison says, you're going, are you going to cook more because I'm leaving? Uh, yeah, we're just making the, um, the enchiladas. The enchiladas. Okay, so here we go. So... It depends on the fat content of your hamburger, uh, because this is fresh hamburger from, uh, you know, like I said, we bought this from our neighbors. There's not a whole lot of fat content, so if you see here Welcome when I push Carol. it aside, it 
there's not a whole lot of grease that's just falling down here, right? So sometimes when you get like the 80, 20 or whatever, you've got all this grease. If that were the case, we would need to uh, drain it a little bit, but you want some of this oil like this. It does have oil content in it. So we want that. Because we are going to go ahead and make our roux for our uh, enchilada sauce. <laughs> So uh, Wedge Dev one says new sub. Hey, welcome. Connolly Jackson says, mmm, enchiladas. Give me now. <laughs> In my tummy. Okay, so I'm going to take that's probably half a cup of flour. Maybe a, yeah. My a says, little over. is this cuisine from Mexico? This is more Tex Mex. So uh, this is gonna be a Tex Mex uh, enchilada. This is how my mama makes it, or pretty close anyway. So you put your flour in. Jovita says that's a perfect char. It, yes, it was beautiful, wasn't it? And then uh, we're just going to let that flour soak up that oil. If you're looking for healthy cooking, this this isn't your place. <laughs> yeah. Christy Betts says, Johnny, I would be fat if I lived near this amazing cook. Oh, all right. So check this. Yes, Danny says, I just subscribed. Now you, Wedge Dev said just subscribed. You do want this to cook um, for just a little bit. You don't want that raw flour taste. I know that sounds silly, but raw flour does have a taste. You do want that flour to cook for just a minute. Don't burn it. Just cook it. So let's come over here and let's look at this. Maria Martinez says, I made enchiladas de papas rojas. Oh, nice. So red potato, red potato enchiladas. Thank you. I'm like, uh... Um, okay. I was going to turn you guys that way to do that, but I don't want to burn this. So look. If gaming says I just subscribed, I love this channel. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Mr. And Mrs. Walter Job Jr. is in the house. Okay. So notice the color of this, um, hamburger. See how it's, this is the throw to my mom. See how it's red, but not too red. So <laughs> Josiah, she is making enchiladas this morning. Uh, beef enchiladas. So uh, ground beef enchiladas. And enchiladas are kind of like anything else, tamales, anything else. You can put whatever you want in an enchilada. Hey, you know, make it yours. Um, Connolly so. Jackson says, you pronounced my name perfectly. People never pronounce it right. Aww. I subscribe to you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So I've got, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how much water. Well, I can look and see, but um, I'm not going to put all you of You want it to be here. wet, but not too wet. Right. So now we're going to create our roux here. So I'm just going to start dumping in. Did you get too cold? The back door's yeah. open too, so I... Yeah. Okay. It's getting cold enough over here that I can see my breath. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that roux coming up? You see that roux? Look at oh, that. Roux, roux. Not roux. Look at that. Okay. So when you're making enchiladas, you want a little bit of a thinner gravy or roux because... Uh, cause you have to soak your tortillas, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna keep adding here. Miss Job says, can you use cornstarch in place of flour? Yes, you can. Any kind of thickener you can use. If you're, uh, you need something different, you can use uh, cornstarch. It will work the same way. Uh, I don't think you have to cook the cornstarch as long, but, um, just, uh, you just want a thickener so that you can make a nice, like gravy. It's a roux, but yes. James says, love me some enchiladas. Enchi, enchiladas. Enchiladas. Okay. BG1968100, good morning. How do I sign up for a smell, uh, for a, for smell of vision Right. I wish that we could do smell of vision That would be awesome. Okay. So look at this. This is going to cook for a little bit and it's going to thicken up. Um, I'm also going to go ahead, I cook a lot by smell, but I am going to taste that and make sure that we are <clears throat> on point. You who says I have never made enchiladas, so I can't wait to see how this is done. Heather the spices Hopper are there. Oh, says, I'm guessing Rusty has gained a hundred pounds since he's been married to Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy Love says, I'm Mexican. Nice. Tommy Tomster says, hello. Jovita says, I made the tostadas on Ash Wednesday, Rachel. You so good. Did? Oh, that is so awesome. That is awesome. So listen, mom is coming back, uh, we think, 
the first part of March. So she has already said that she is going to do a video making capirotada because um, uh, everybody, uh, you know, was asking for that. And, and you, you know, traditionally you make capirotada during uh, Lent. And capirotada is a, uh, it's a type of bread pudding and it's really good. So Pedro has this, I'm back. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So I'm going to turn this way down. Connolly says, I'm craving enchiladas. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm Bacon actually going to move this over I'm here. I'm from Africa. Oh, well, hello. Welcome. Okay, Christy I'm going to let that cook. My husband was a good cook and liked using cornstarch. Yes. Cornstarch works really well. Um, I do use cornstarch. <laughs> Listen, I, I use some cornstarch, too. Movita <laughs> says... Gaming, we are so poor that Mexicans have to be funny to entertain ourselves. <laughs> I watched a, a TikTok yesterday, and this man was saying, "We were so poor. <laughs> we were so poor. We'd go to my auntie's house and eat the fruit off the, off the wallpaper." And Rusty and I laughed so hard because. You could see we the, see the wallpaper. Mind, you see that wallpaper with the fruit all over it. <laughs> the other one that the, the one the other guy says is we were so poor we had cereal for breakfast. They made us eat it with a fork so we could pass the milk on to the next one. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to put all of this. So I'm going to put this is for the um, hydro hat says I love Mexican food. I eat it every Sunday morning. Awesome. Oh, nice. Do you make menudo? Do you eat menudo? Evelyn okay. says, ha ha, Jovita. I almost broke my phone. Forgot I don't have a wrench on this one. <laughs> <laughs> on what? <clears throat> Who said that? Oh, Evelyn Newman. Evelyn, you're not a mod. And the rest of can't make a... mm. Jovita says, I love capirotada. I like it warm. Uh, I'm not real big on it, but... Um... Okay, here's I'm gonna I'm gonna try to say this. If it's from Carita Feliz, Hola, soy de Ecuador. Hello, oh. I'm from Ecuador. Nice. Ha -ha, got Look it. at you. Yeah. Look, at, look at my Mexican over here. Hydra has his well, yeah. Welcome. I eat everything. <laughs> uh, yep. I heard something the other day. Evelyn, you are now. It would be funny. Oh, what was that that was saying? What if soy milk is just real milk introducing itself in Spanish? Because the way you say I am is soy. Soy. So soy milk. I am milk. Maybe it's just, you know, introducing. Amy Brown is in the house. She says, I'm new. Oh, Lazy Brown says, those trolls laugh out loud. I got the last one. Good Ooh, job, good Kevin. Good job, Kevin. Man, they're crazy this morning. Christina Hires says, nice cooking. Okay, we're going to put this. She says, okay, thank you. <laughs> Evelyn did. I put that um, towel there so then that way we can just put this over here and this way I'm going to move you guys over here so that we can work uh, more cohesively and I don't have to be turning you guys. Uh, but first G. Gonna... Morton says I love Mexican food. Me and my family had enchiladas last night. Nice. Okay so this is for the salsa uh, just for an extra salsa to have with the enchiladas. So I'm going to go ahead and you know we charred. Zizi's in the house. Says hi. What are you making? That. She is making beef enchiladas this morning. I also need to start my um, oven. I'm going to put it at 375. But I'm Mexican, so I got to check in there and make sure <laughs> that I don't have anything in there. Gene Morton says I love to cook. Yay! I'm so glad. I love, love, love to cook. And so Neil when... says Evelyn has a blue wrench now with two trophies. <laughs> <laughs> Neil needs a blue wrench <laughs> too. He's always. He's always uh, in here. You who says, do you like mushrooms? I, I make a mushroom dish that tastes just like beef stroganoff, but with no meat. Oh my goodness. That, that sounds, sounds amazing. amazing. Yes. I love mushrooms and I normally put mushrooms in my beef stroganoff anyway. So that would be, I'm going to move you guys. That would be very good. Connolly says, laugh out loud, soy milk. <laughs> soy milk. Bling Blong Hola. is a new person Sign in our up. chat today. Welcome. welcome, welcome. Says you guys are such a cute couple. <laughs> I am new. Uh, Bertha Alonzo says, I, hi, I'm new. Welcome. 
You can scooch this way and then you can be in the camera. Bling Bong says the food looks so good. Um, hold on. John's backing up. He's coming in. Uh-oh. Uh, so our neighbor, I bet our dog is out. Uh, our neighbor stopped by, so it's always like, oh, what happened? No. Oh. It's the neighbor's wife. Oh, okay. She backed up to get the mail from me. Oh, yeah, you know, rural America. That's right. Everybody knows everybody. The mailman, if you guys... Uh, saw on Robertson's Belly Acres, we borrowed a trailer this way. from the neighbor, and the, that neighbor happens to be our mailman. Yes, that's what He's our awesome. mailman, and his daughter works for me at the feed store. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, it's going to get busy. get me in there closer to the food so I can... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how this is going to go, you guys. <clears throat> You can either make your own corn tortillas. I made corn tortillas probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Did we have Taco Tuesday or do we have Taco Wednesday? We had Taco Wednesday. So um, it's easier just to make corn tortillas, uh, you know, when you're making tacos, just because you're already doing it. And they're super easy to make, like super easy. Maseca that you buy for um, tamales, you get that, you add a little bit of salt, add water, make your masa press them out. You have to have a tortilla press or something to press them out because they won't roll, but press them out in between plastic or um, uh, wax paper. And you've got your, you've got your taco shells if you're wanting um, uh, the uh, uh, corn tortillas. But for this, these seem to work better. They hold up a little better because they're, you know, manufactured. <laughs> well, Rita says, I am milk. I am water. I am Mexican. <laughs> soy milk. Soy agua. Soy mexicana. <laughs> okay, so uh, you want to... <coughs> I always buy the Super Soft, the Mission Super Soft. These tend to hold up a little better. Uh, the ones that are not super soft that they say, they're very, very crumbly. So if you look at these, these are very pliable. Like um, you want that, and I say that in a, in a crumb goes off, but... <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> if you buy... I'm, I'm, I'm not about brand names, but if you buy the off brand of uh, corn tortillas, a lot of the times you're going to end up with the very, very crumbly ones. Yes. So uh, you guys can see this. James had breakfast tacos. Bling Bong says I had tacos last night. Addie, Addie the Goat says, oh, yes. So oh, that's awesome, you guys. Tacos are so good. So here... Um, Normally, I would leave this on the stove. Uh, my roux did get a little thick, but it's okay. I'm just going to put that tortilla in there. I want to soak. I want to soak my tortillas. If you leave it in there too long, because the roux is hot, your tortilla will disintegrate. Yes. So it's not one of those things you want to uh, leave it in there and and make your make your tacos or your enchiladas. You want to kind of dip them and move them, okay? Um, you do want them to get warm enough that they don't crack. I don't know that these are warm enough. Uh, hold on, my onions are charring over here, uh, so i got to move them. Christy Betts says, I'm still thinking about those dips you made last week. Nice. Did you try any? They, they Man, we had dips for lunch. <laughs> dips for days. We had dips for days. Mrs. Jobes is saving this video to use later. I really wish the YouTube had a star system for our personal save to find favorites later. That would be nice. That would be nice. Amy says, can we play Simon Says? Amy, that's not this channel today. <laughs> uh, G. Morton says, I'm new. Itsy Bitsy says, good morning. Let me see. I want a bigger spoon than this. Trish Keen says, our family is growing. Yay. Yay. Yes, it is. That is awesome. Okay, so see here? I'm going to take a little bit of this meat, and I'm going to put this in here. Uh, Connolly says, corn tortillas are so yum. Now, yes. at this point, you can add cheese to the inside of your enchiladas if you want to. My mom doesn't ever put cheese on the inside. She puts cheese on the outside, on the top. I'm just going to do it the way she does it. See, I didn't let that warm up long enough, so my tortilla is going to crack. You don't need that much. This is a messy business, you guys. You don't need that much meat. Oh, we just says, welcome inside. everyone to the kitchen. Tabby Girl 15 says, I'm new as well. Oh, <clears throat> that one's going to crack. Uh, Neil Let says, me warm that up a little longer. People. 
Jovita says, I love pressing the corn tortillas. Yes, definitely. So my tortilla, that tortilla was not warm enough. This is probably why we really need to leave it on the stove so that it can continue to warm up. Conley says, we don't want disintegrating tortillas. That's right. No disintegrating tortillas. Jovita says, Rachel, can you make a video on making street tacos? I want to learn how to make the meat. Sure. Um, I made... The other day, I just used uh, stew meat, and you can cut it up smaller, or you can buy the uh, do those flat steaks. Uh, you can buy those and chop them up, um, and then I just I don't know throw some stuff in it. But so I will uh, I will definitely do Kathleen that. Kathleen says, "Mrs. Job, click the save button and click check to save watch save to watch later on the main YouTube page to the left. Click on the watch later button." Perfect. To see your saved video. That one rolled beautifully. That one was cracked. I saved my favorite recipe. Longer. Uh, okay. Bobby Redden says, Hi, London Bridge Bricks. Hello from England. Hello. Are you using StreamYards to stream in vertical mode or just YouTube? Love your chemistry. Cool cookery. Thank you. No, it's just YouTube. So YouTube, um, they they really want you to use, they uh, recommend vertical now. And so if you don't hit the... Um, if you don't hit the uh, button, I guess, to change it to horizontal, it will shoot in um, vertical. But thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the craziness. Uh, we go live every Saturday morning at 930 Central Standard Time um, to uh, to cook. So um, we've, we've done everything, breakfasts and Mexican food and... We're going to keep this Nico going. Fernandez says, try and make Spanish tortilla. Ooh, what's in a Spanish tortilla? Sadov has left a comment that I cannot read. Unfortunately, that's in a different language. And there's not a, a probably on there. there Azurdi is. says, hello, I'm French. Oh, nice. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know very much French, just high school French. You know, you learn. Mel A says, what are you cooking? Uh, we are making um, uh, beef, Tex-Mex beef enchiladas. So these are ground beef enchiladas. These are something that I grew up on that did not warm up long enough. <laughs> London Bridge, get three thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Three, three thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Three thumbs up and three hearts. Yoo-hoo says, I cannot believe this is this easy to prepare. It's crazy. I know what I'm making on my next movie night with my sister. Right, right. It is. It's crazy, and it's so good. Connolly says, I'm going to be here every Saturday now. <laughs> Yay. You guys just come on over because it's every Saturday. We're we're cooking something. And y'all can leave suggestions, too. Yes. Uh, we're not scared of trying something new. D.W. Um, Harris says, man, that looks delicious. All right. I'm going to. Quinn Russo. Hi. Zayan Wani says, so beautiful. <clears throat> uh, Trish Keen says, and yet again, y'all are making me hungry. <laughs> Abe Owen says, I'm making it. <laughs> yes, do it. So these are Tex-Mex enchiladas, super easy. Um, the Mexican flavor, like the Mexican-Mexican enchiladas, uh, same thing. I mean, it's easy. It's not the same thing. But, uh, you know, you're going to use uh, like chile anchos. And um, uh, New Mexico chili, New Mexico or California chilies. And Christian McCaffrey says, "Do you watch not, football?" Um, yes, ish. No, we don't really watch football. We watched the Super Bowl last week. I say we loosely. Rusty and Desi watched the Super Bowl. Um, I did not really because the grandbabies were here, so I was playing with the grandbabies. D.W. Harris says. Those super soft tortillas are really good. I like the texture. Yes, they're kind of starting to fall apart over here, so I think I need to warm this up again. Kim Campbell says, I almost missed it. I just got up. Well, well good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put this back. <coughs> okay, so Dia 7270 says, where are you guys from? We're in Northeast Oklahoma. Okay, I want to show you guys. I want to show you. I want to show you something. So I moved that pan. I'm going to move this pan. I'm warming that back up. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that because uh, my roux has gotten... favorite way to add heat? Huh? 
What's your favorite way to add heat? To add heat to these, mm -hmm. honestly, in this flavor palette, um, like I'm going to make a salsa, but also, not kidding, crushed red pepper. Add it in when you're cooking it, and uh, it'll oh. add just enough heat without losing that the flavor palette that you're already, that flavor combination that you're already going for. Yes. So, Smile Happy says, y'all look cool as hell to hang out with. Oh, my goodness. Nico Fernandez says, I'm a chef. Well, welcome. Welcome. So don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> Listen. <Ooh. laughs> okay. Oh, let me put a little bit in this one and wrap Marty it up. Marty Cisnero says, I'm about to go make some breakfast now. Yeah. What are you making for breakfast? Thank you so much for being here. Um, it, we really appreciate it. Mrs. Jokes, the cracked tortillas still taste delicious. And they do. You're going to cover them up anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's just not as pretty. And uh, I think... You know, my mom always uh, oh. left it on the um, stove while, you know, while she was doing this. So uh, now I know why, because if your, if your roux gets too cool, then that's you who says, looks like I have another cook to add to my list to follow oh. and a day of binge watching your previous recipes. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Lee Flew Falls says, do you like soccer? Unfortunately, soccer is not a game that we watch. Oh, football. Football. No, this is a different person. Asking. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, you were asking. Football. Yeah. Um, so this this is for the salsa while that is warming Abe up. Abe Owen says, hey, this is an incredible channel. Do recommend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So I want my lime or... You know, limon. Benjamin Wexler says, I like the spice cabinet with no doors. You know it's a real kitchen. Oh, so funny thing about that spice cabinet on, on our uh, main channel. This is our second channel. So our main channel is called Robertson's Belly Acres. And we bought an abandoned farm with 20 acres. And our journey has been insane. <laughs> We've been here since July of 20, of last year. Yeah, so the spice cabinet, you know, we've just been kind of doing things. We don't have a kitchen yet. So you guys see that it is, um, the drywall is not finished. Um, <laughs> we don't have cabinets yet. Um, we've upgraded. We have a stove now, so that's good. Um, a stove, a stove, a cook stove. We had Rachel and her mama were cooking for five months on electric skillets and crock pots. Yeah. So now, uh, you know, at this point, we're still trying to get, we've got so much going. And uh, my mom is, she moved in with us and then she bought a tiny house. And so we're fixing to start building that tiny house, uh, getting it put together for her. Uh, she went south for the winter. She is hanging out with my sister while it's cold here. And, um, but yeah, so this, we had uh, bought this medicine cabinet uh, at uh, a, yard sale and I refurbished it. I took it apart and I made three separate pieces out of the, uh, the medicine cabinet, but it's perfect for a spice cabinet and I love it. And so, yes, I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much for the compliment. Uh, oh, I've got to step away. For just okay. A Work is calling you guys. Never mind. They didn't know. Okay. So <clears throat> look at these peppers have uh, sweated for a good long time. Kim Campbell says, looks oh. yummy. Jaden Lee Lawson says, oh, yeah, I got to step away. Listen, good morning. I'm kind of ADHD over here because now my roux, ooh, now my roux is, uh, is warm again. So let's get these done and get them in the oven and then we'll focus on that salsa. Okay. So, so far, I'm sorry, I can't read comments with Rusty gone. Uh, but he'll be right back. He's just, it's just a work call. He is the manager of the feet of a feed store. And so he's off on Saturdays, but he does have to stay by his phone in case they have questions. So, um, he is going to cover that one, two, three, four, five, six. We, the cool thing about, um, yeah, look at that. That's much better. The cool thing about enchiladas is, uh, you can smush them together. Right, so smoosh them together, and you can get more in there. So this one is falling apart. 
roll that baby and let's turn her over. Okay. Smush. See how that one's trying to disintegrate. Don't disintegrate. Don't do it. Rusty will catch up with comments when he gets back. Right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want 12 in here, guys. We're going to keep smushing. Uh, I want, I'll put two over here. So I need two more on the line right here. Uh, you're still getting the same amount of food uh, squishing it because you are. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Because, you know, it's the same amount of meat and everything else. So just kind of shake it off a little bit right there. You've already got meat right there. Just roll that baby up. You guys, I'm so excited to be making these. I meant to make these for Rusty for Valentine's Day, but, you know, life happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you're freaking out about me touching it, <laughs> we're the only ones eating it. So um, if you don't like anybody touching your food, uh, you know, or you don't like to, you get grossed out by it, just wear gloves. It's okay. I heard you coming. Like had to work. Yeah, you had to work for just a second. Yeah, for just a minute. Two more. We're going to get two more on here. Okay. You can also warm up your tortillas before you start putting them in here. And that probably does speed up the process a little bit uh, to where they're not. Um, D.W. Harris says, what are some types of cuisine that are unique or considered local to Oklahoma? Um, well, it kind of just depends on where you're at. Uh, Oklahoma is a little bit further north than Tex Mex than Tex Texas, so the Tex Mex game is a little bit weaker than it would be in Texas. But you're still going to gather some Tex Mex food. Also, um, a lot of things, uh, very ranch style uh, cuisine. So, um, if you know what mountain oysters are, or what else are they called? Calf fries. They're called calf fries around calf here. Fries, yeah. Calf fries is a big thing. Uh, steak. We are in cattle country. So um, steak is a <laughs> steak houses. That's a, a steak is a staple. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what else? And oh, chicken and noodles or chicken and dumplings. Uh, that that's big in the winter. Chili is big. There's a huge controversy about chili. Rather, if there should be beans in it or not, but... 31st Virginia says, I am doing this. You guys are so wholesome and funny to watch. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Barbara Glendale says, good morning. I'm going to try this. It looks yummy for the tummy. Yummy for the tummy. Uh, okay. Mr. Jobes has made chicken enchiladas on Thursday with leftover chicken. Absolutely. That's the way to do yes, it. Yes, definitely. And then with the green chilies. and Okay, so this is what's left as far as the meat goes. Just dress that up. Enchiladas are a messy business. So when you get a plate full of enchiladas, you are not expecting Nico to find... Nico Fernandez says, do you guys do donation? Donation. I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't know that anything's set up for anything yet on this channel. Uh, I think we have uh, super chats on this channel, but I'm not sure. Uh, right. Treasure Hunter says... Oh, it's gone. Tex-Mex cooked in Chicago for the Oklahoma cuisine. <laughs> I'm all trying to show it in the camera, and then I'm like, I'm getting waffly close over here. And I said waffly. I'm waffly. getting waffly close. <laughs> okay, so. Chrissy says, that sounds like my cooking in this camper. Yeah. Yeah. So Fiesta Blend is what I'm using on cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want. Uh, this James is says, where unfortunately that wouldn't hold all my spices. It doesn't hold all her spices. No. We have spices. See, I have a whole nother box here with spices, and then I've got out here and there, and we also have some in the pantry. Yeah, I've got to go through them again. I, I do tend to cook with the same type of stuff, but I do like to try new things, so uh, I tend to buy oh, stuff. If Damon Channel says, "I left the stream, then I found you again." Yay! I'm glad you come back. Yay! I'm glad you came back. <laughs> Oh, we just says, you got this, Rachel. We are in the kitchen with you. Is your name Jack? Can we say Jack? Come back. Jack. Jack. Come back. 
Kathleen Sasser says, I love watching your channel. In the oven, 375. Honestly, all we're waiting for is the cheese to melt and get all bubbly and great. While that's doing that, we're going to make some salsa. And Christy says, I love feed stores. Yes. Yes. Uh, welcome. Hoita says, welcome everyone to the kitchen. Cooking with Rachel. Yes. Neil says, Beth had to leave and come back too. Oh, no. Trish says, yes, their kitchen is filled with love and lots of friends. We are one big happy family. Yes, yes we are. So we've said this over and over, you guys, that we love doing Saturday morning lives because when, when our friends and family come to visit us, we all hang out in the kitchen every time. It can be a crowd of 30 and this little bitty kitchen would be just jam packed with chairs everywhere because this is where everybody just hangs out. So for us to be able to be on YouTube and hang out with you guys and feel like y'all are in our kitchen, it's just, it's just lovely. <laughs> yes, Abe says, I love you guys going live. And then he says, yes, we are one big happy family. Hope he says, thank you, Abe. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, Miss Jobs says, mods, little Leon troll. Yes. You mods are doing amazing. Yes, the Thank mods you are so doing much. awesome, you guys. You guys got your hands full today. I know. I think that's all part of that uh, with us having to go vertical. I think YouTube pushes it more, which is great. And that means that, oh, you guys have come in, and I love that. Yes. But I think uh, it pushes it, then we get more trolls too. But that's all right. Mr. Joe says, geez, look away for a second to get a sip of coffee, and they pop in today. I yeah, know. that's the way it. That's the way it happens. Yeah, uh, and you know what? They're, you know, Chris you guys are awesome. One thing: trolls are adding to your views. Huh? That's right. That's, that's right. And you know what? We need to. Uh, we may need to strengthen up on um, on mods. So yeah, we may have to do that. Okay, look. So the uh, Anshul Anshul says yes. You have super chats. Okay, good deal. So the Anaheim's. See how they're wrinkly now? Let me get over here. Let me, just, let me show you. Rusty, do not log out of the live until you see all the trolls. There you go. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I'm so sorry, you guys. Neil says, my youngest son's middle name is Noah. That's our grand, our oldest grandson's first name. Okay. MSRP says, hello, how are you? All right. I wish you guys could see. Everyone says, I love playing Whack-A-Troll. <laughs> Whack a troll. Do you see that? Abe says, I'm in West Virginia, pocket. Summersville. Right on out of there. Come on. Justin Porter says, haters make you famous. Haters make you famous. <laughs> You're right. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this in half just so it's easier to manage. And I get rid of all of those little seeds. Well, we could really have fun with the trolls on the other channel with all the mods in that one. I know we're gonna have to strengthen our strengthen our army here, you guys. So if you're interested, let us know. MSRP says, "OMG, I love you guys' content. Thank you, thank you, thank you." I just Faith says, "All oh, I just joined. Welcome, welcome." Vicky Hyde is in the house. So we're gonna do this one as She's well. Just, hey, hey. Oh, seed pocket didn't come out with that one. Oh. You can just rip these. You don't have to have a knife. Jovita says, Rachel, do not worry about the trolls. Just cook. <laughs> Jovita's got us. Between Jovita and Evelyn, they're like, whack a troll, whack a troll, whack a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are the dream team, let me tell you. Uh, MSRP says, when you guys don't go live, it makes me feel sad because I don't have anything entertaining. <laughs> Okay, there here we go. I know we try to say so our other channel we go Monday nights uh, live Monday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We go live on that channel. We just sit and chat and it it's really interesting. Sit, chat and laugh. Laugh. Katie Texas 57 says y'all are the only family I've got. Oh, well, we love you too, Katie. So okay. go ahead. Nope. Kim says I'm growing those peppers this year. Yes. Uh, so these are, oh, these are actually um, poblanos, but yes, Anaheim's as well. And I grow Anaheim's and poblanos. I'm so excited. Uh, Marvin Glendale says, trolls have no life. Positive vibes here. Love your content. Yuhu says, okay, so I'm new. What's a troll? So a troll is somebody that uh, comes in uh, to lives, and they'll they'll do it on regular videos too, but they just leave very inappropriate comments and they just flood your stream with nonsense. 
And so uh, sometimes it's just crazy comments. Sometimes it gets very rude. Uh, you just never know what they're going to come up with. Yeah, they just try to get uh, <laughs> some sort of um, response. Okay, so I took these peppers. I've gotten the MSRP says, excuse me, sir, how do you apply for staff? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see how that application works is, oh, I'm sorry, all positions are filled. <laughs> no, he's saying for moderator, isn't he? Oh, for moderator? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can make you a mod once we get on Rachel's phone. Yeah. Who Actually, was uh, Hovita can make mods. Hovita, can't she? Yeah, she's a manager. As a managing moderator, Hovita can make, 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 make mods. Shiloh Akers is in the house. Says, good morning. We'll have to go back and rewatch from the beginning, but I made it. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. All right, guys, so see what I'm doing is I'm just using my knife to scrape off all of the skin off of those. So you got these uh, nice flat little stir fries in the house is watching from Utah. Missed the first bit on making the enchiladas. Do y'all post recipes after you make them? Um, I don't, I do on lives. I try to, I try to remember. So I will definitely uh, go in and post recipes. I'm not real big on recipes. I'm going to get better, but uh, I've, I've been kind of doing the, okay, so it's probably about this much. I need to get better about measuring and uh, actually putting together recipes. So then that way other people can make this at home because you guys, it just warms my heart when people say, Hey, I made this the other day. I, I went ahead and cooked this and Girl Talk with Sam good. is here. She says, hi, I'm new. What are you making? Uh, so we made, welcome, first of all. And we are making, we made enchiladas. And now I'm going to make a poblano salsa to go with it. Um, right now I charred these peppers and then I, um, and then I sweated them. So put them in a uh, plastic bag and let them sweat. And now I'm peeling them. Uh, BG nineteen sixty eight one hundred gave us our first super chat oh four dollars. Says you you're doing so good much. when the trolls show up. Thank you, thank oh, you, thank you. We didn't have to do you. that. Yes. MSRP said I would love to stop the trolls. We'd love to help stop the trolls. Okay. Uh, Hovita says thank you so much, Katie, for watching. Yes. Uh, Shiloh yeah, says definitely. good morning, Evelyn. Uh, Hovita says thank you sixty eight. Allison says OMG, I'm back. Beck blogger. Put give a emoji of a taco. Woo, taco, taco. Hovita says, MSRP, you are helping us. I don't know. I think they might allow me to help you. I'm not sure. Nice. Hassan Nasari says, the recipe is going to be delicious, and you can please give me a shout out. You just got it, Hassan. Yes, definitely. Uh, Trish Keene says, until it looks right, huh, Rachel? That's right. <laughs> it's it's uh, until your ancestors whisper, yamiha. Yeah, yes. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move what this. What onions do y'all like for salsa or pico de gallo? Okay, so I, it depends on, on what you like. We like yellow onions or red onions. Red onions um, are a lot sweeter. Yellow onions are sweet. White onions are hot. So mom uses white onions. She normally uses white onions in her pico. Uh, I think she just uses white onions all the way around. I use yeah. yellow onions. I don't like them quite as, I don't like the bite. Like I don't like them quite as hot, but uh, that's kind of up to you. The uh, purple or red onions, they are really pretty in a pico. Um, so uh, like for that kind of like the fresh stuff, I do kind of like the red onions better than... Mr. Job says, great job, Mods. Uh, Yoohoo says, that's too bad. I don't know why nothing can be done about that. Just like Facebook has sponsors that are scammers, but yet we need to be responsible of, on figure out what's real and what's a scam. I know, that is so hard. Listen, we're making this stuff hot. So the um, jalapenos, you don't have to peel them. I just charred them, and then I cut off the stem, and I'm leaving seeds and all because we're going to make a good spicy salsa. Stir fry is awesome. You make it by feel and experience. Love that. Keep this channel yes. growing. I'll be watching more. Yay! TJ so Football Lover says, y'all making food? Yes, we are. We're making some food. She has made uh, some beef enchiladas, and now she's whipping up some salsa to go on them. So I charred 
I should have showed you guys that. I charred those um, onions. Uh, that just brings out the sweetness in them. And then I charred four garlic cloves. And then I did char my tomatoes as well. And that's just going to bring out all of their juices. Um, charring things just really brings out the flavor in your stuff. I don't know what to call this channel, says. You guys are cool. I don't know what to call this channel. Yeah, that's IDK, what to call this channel. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy right that's there. That's right. Uh, Neil says, I can't eat raw onions, so no pico for me. No pico for you. There's, I, I've, you know, met people that can't, well, obviously I've met you, Neil, but um, that can't either can't have raw or can't have cooked. And that's just so odd to me how it's, you know, like yes. normally you think if I am allergic, I'm allergic, right? Uh, Vicki Heights says, the trolls are mad because you guys are loved and they're, and they don't have a life. That's right. D.W. Harris says, down here in South Carolina, we use Vidalia onions for everything yes. but pico. Vidalia onions are so sweet and so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put some caldo, caldo, de, caldo de pollo. Let <laughs> me speak. Caldo de pollo. I'm going to use chicken bouillon, uh, one heaping tablespoon. So because I'm putting this in here, I am not putting any salt in there because this is very salty okay uh here is karen wiley burns is, says hey hey again from australia this is three oh this is one cup <laughs> i was like that's not three cups oh we just says me yummy huh so one cup of water and one lime can I find my citrus? Where's it's my citrus? In the strainer, right over there. Ah, ha, ha. Um, Christy Betts says, I lived in South Carolina as a young bride. MSRP says, cool. when you get stressed, do you just start cooking randomly? When I get stressed, when I miss my mama, when I'm mad, when I'm happy. <laughs> no, when I get, I do love to cook. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you who says sends a five dollar super sticker says oh I think this goodness. recipe is well worth it. Thank, thank you, thank you, you, thank so you so much. Emily Jadis is like this. Beth Cornette is in the hose. In the hose. We got scammed by someone pretending to be the electric company. Oh, oh no. no! I'm so sorry. BG says thank you, you who. Katie at Texas says, sends a ten dollar super chat. Oh, Katie, thank you so much one lime here so i was a banker for 12 years the scams you guys they, it's ridiculous just just if you don't feel like it's right in your gut don't do it call heather connie Quinnick. i can't say your last name heather sorry uh says the more onions and tomato the better garlic too yum why, 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 back why? to good is in the house why are we not closing why are we not closing I got that lined up. Kiss killer problem. Here we go. Why is that not pushing it? Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to pop up, is it? I'm looking inside to make sure. Sorry, guys. Something just clicked. Okay. So I don't know. I'm going to check on my, um, my enchiladas. <sighs> Dig out the pocket knife. Okay, I'm going to keep going with you guys. Are you caught up? Let's see. Good morning. Hello. Ray Metcalf is in the house. Says, good morning, RB. B-A-K and Desi, while well, I was reaching for my coffee and just spilled it all over the table. Be right back with another cup. You guys make our day. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's <laughs> something down here that's not. Back to good. It's not clicking here. Is it my, this thing that's not in there right? Uh, let's see. I can, I can get my, uh, I can get my. You can see it's not. It's not clicking, is it? Hmm. I can grab my, uh, I can't speak. That's what I, I, I can't do that. Um, the question may be when don't y'all cook? I miss home cooked meals for my family. 
Um, hey, we'll just do it this way. Don't burn your. <laughs> yourself on the copyright yes exactly check first before you get scammed yes uh mad cooking uh i can just imagine how hot you make your salsa right okay let me grab the other thing <laughs> everybody's laughing <laughs> yes it's plugged okay. in oh wait there's a plug in. <laughs> um maybe it's check, plugged in. check first before you get scammed Mad cooking. Oh, I just love. I can just imagine how hot you make your salsa. Right. Yes. Right. Um, That's plugged in. Stir fry says improvise. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh that my one gosh. If this one does not. Where do I have to have it? What am I doing? Now, now I'm rattled. See how that clicked? Yep, something's up with that one. Something's up with that picture. That's okay. That's okay. Improvise. <laughs> Here we go. I got the comments right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're just going to take it from the blender right to the food processor. That makes me mad because that, like, now I dirty two, you know, one more thing dirty. Ah, okay. Uh, how do you learn to be a moderator? Oh, Katie. Uh, oh, I have to do it over here. Uh, oh, Katie, you just have to, if somebody logs in, uh, says something inappropriate, if you're a moderator, when you click on there, you can, um, you can uh, block them. Here, Katie, I'll make you a moderator. Who else was wanting to do moderating? I don't remember. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and watch it. Well, I have to go, guys. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I subscribe to your channel just because you make me feel like everyone matters. So have a good day. Oh, well, thank you so much. Ninjas are picky. Yes, they are. Stinking ninjas. Uh, I did that the other day. Man, sounds so good, stir fry. And instead... <laughs> of a blender. I had the mat, uh, pot mashed potato masher. It worked. <laughs> so, yeah, because it's like using a molcajete, right? So if you're going to make a uh, true chile molido, uh, you use a molcajete, which I have a video on this channel of making chile molito, molido with a um, molcajete, which is just a, I don't remember what they call it in English, pestle, mortar, I'm not gonna say it right. It's uh, it's a, it's a it's made out of lava rock ish, um, and then it has a rock and you mash it. So it would be the same thing using that. Uh, there are probably videos on how to be a moderator. Probably uh, MSRP says me. Uh, I can be a moderator. Said uh, so. Let me let me go in here. I can be a moderator. Man, they are popping up like crazy. Uh, let's see. Oh. As a moderator, and then MSRP. Let's see. Yes, please. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, back to good. Says I can help. Yes, Rachel. We are going to make you a moderator right here. All right. Okay. Are y'all done? You know, looking at my pores here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. The moles are crazy this morning. There are probably videos on how to tear treasure. Hunter Neal, um, you and uh, Beth. Um, I'm going to hang up there. Okay. Uh, well, I will help out this community the best I can. Yay! Thank you. Look at all those blues. Blue dabba dee button do. Okay. Well, rescue's gone. Oh, that one won't fit. I am going to. Go ahead and he said this. Okay, here we go. It's gonna get loud. Turn down your volume. Ready? Three, two, one. No. 
Um, yes. Uh, so stir fry says also I have to go. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I'll have to get back on when y'all stream. What days do you stream again? Monday and Saturday, Saturday mornings at nine, eight, nine 30 AM central standard time on this channel, 7 PM central standard time on Mondays on Robertson's belly acres. So that's our, that's our, uh, homesteading channel. I, I know why that we're not. I can't make mods. Mm. I'm on here from Robertson's Valley Acres. Oh, I'm like, hey, mm. you should be able to. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. It's chunky. I'm going to go ahead and go just a little bit longer on this. So sorry. Turn down your volume in three, two, one. <laughs> Ray Metcalf says, it's so great for you all to invite us into your home. We feel like we are hanging with friends. Thank you for making us laugh and feel so welcome. Absolutely, oh, Ray. We, we consider you, you, you and Rita as our family as well. Yes, you guys are and Mrs. Awesome. Job says, I think the blender top was handle was on the wrong spot. Check how the handle on the processor is now. That's how the blender needs to be. Oh, oh. Actually, the blender and the processor are different. They're opposite. They yeah. Have arrows on them. Well, maybe. No, she's right. The handle should have been right here, I bet. Oh. I bet you're right. Okay. I was okay. taking the lid. I want you guys to see this. I mean, I'm going to dump it, but I want you to see what it looks like in there. See that chunky goodness? You who says, I was thinking the same thing about the handle placement on the blender. <laughs> yeah, I think I was just getting into a hur in hurry. I was like, oh, no. Okay, let's do a clear bowl so you guys can. Oh, Dad Davis says, what time is it now? There, it is 10.54 a.m. here, Woo! Central Standard Time. We have gone over. Okay, so. Stir, stir Fry says, perfect, love y'all, enjoy the cooking, talk soon. Yay, thank you so much for being here. Okay, this and is Neil going says, to the compost. It's not that loud, Rachel. Is I it not? because of the mics. Probably, our mics have uh, noise canceling. So all of this stuff you see me kind of taking over here, uh, part of it goes to the, the scrap uh, bucket, which goes, we alternate between the chickens and the pigs, and the other goes to the compost pile. So um, I'm not throwing any of this goodness away, you guys, I promise. It's all uh, going to good use. AA09 says, love you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jokes, my ninja has where it only works one way, marked in white on the one corner that needs to be locked to work. That's such a good idea, That's and I'm definitely going to do that because I wrestle with it. I wrestle with it, as as uh, Desi would say. Uh, I wrestle. <laughs> I wrestle. You who says location check, everyone. Niles, Michigan here. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is okay. Thank you. Over here, it's eighteen hundred evening. Yes, yeah, so it's six o'clock in the evening there. Nice. Back to good, says Douglas, Arizona. Frugal Depths is Central New York. The Rambling Peach says, bye, folks. I have to go cook lunch. Oh, good. See you later, Carol. Thank you for being here. So Carol goes live on um, Robertson's Belly Acres after us. Yes. They go, um, she goes on at 8, 8, 8 p.m. on Monday nights. Y'all look at this. Look at this chunky goodness. Oh, I'm spilling it. Oh, I'm spilling it. Sunny. Sunny God says, filtering through which ones to read out loud, eh? Yes, I have to, unfortunately, today. Uh, Brandon Poley says, two ahead Atlantic, New Brunswick, Canada. Awesome. Kathleen McGinley says, paint to narrow polish dots at the connection spots. That's how I run. <laughs> right? Uh, Trisha's mods were certainly kept busy today. It's yes. 1655 in Scotland. Oh, nice. Okay, here Sorry, we go. Sorry, guys. We got to try it. Mm. Mm. Perfect amount of heat, baby. You're awesome. Woo! That's got some sneak up and get your heat. Mr. Jobs, your sound is glitching, hearing every other word. Uh-oh. BG. Am I blue? You're blue. Where's yours? You're blue. Are we okay? BG says PA here. Okay. <laughs> Kim Campbell says Missouri. Naomi Ruiz says hi. Hi. 
Oh, that is so good. Dolores in New Mexico is where New Evelyn's at. Missouri's Christine. sound check. So are we okay? Sonny Gun says, read this out loud. <laughs> read this out loud. Read this out loud. Yes. Uh, James Hall says, looks amazing. Back to good says, I have a lot of ancestry from Scotland. Would be cool to visit there one day. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Sonny um, Gun says, what do you call a cow without legs? Ground beef. Ground beef. Can I have this? Please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Jobes says, good idea. Mine would come off the wash. Uh, James says, am I blue? Am I blue? Is he? <laughs> no. James. James Hall needs to be blue. Yes, my love. James does need to be because Rodette James David is awesome. says she's from Belgium. Let's see. X the X. James, try Walker again. Says hi. Open Heart says hi. Barbara Glendale says from North Carolina. Turks says fatty, not a baddie. Fatty, uh, not a baddie. Uh, Mrs. Joe says the food is great. Rachel Wiggle. No. Uh, Look at this. Says, well done. Can you guys see this bubbliness? Alora says, what are you making? She made beef enchiladas and salsa. So it's hot and bubbly. Neil says, they're from Downsville, Georgia. James says, no. No? Is he blue? Yeah, no. Kathleen McGinley says, Baskin Ridge, New Jersey. Eileen Taylor, Scotland is great. However, weather is awful. Short summers. James? There he is now. Okay. James says, was singing. <laughs> Try again, Monkey James. Boy 500 is in the house. Is he says, blue I now? I just subscribed. Yes, James is blue now. Okay. Leah's Life, my, say my name. I just did Leah's Life 747. MSRP says, please don't name, put your IPs. Uh, you who says that looks da, da. yummy. Okay. I'm going to put, I'm going to, you want three. Let's see. I'm surprised Desi's not out here. She'll say, I smell food. I'm going to do three. Kathleen. Kaylee Spin says, please shout out all your vids. Evelyn Newman says, hello. Welcome Monkey Boy 500. I want to get you guys closer so y'all can see Bryn this one. Bryn says, Slate. Slay. Trish says, I'm on my way and I'm hungry. Well, come on, Trish. Okay, hold on. I'll share this with you today because there's enough to share, but uh, <laughs> you better hurry. So I got three. And James See says, like I said, I was singing, am I blue? Yes, yes I'm, I'm blue. blue. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Ronnie Y'all See that cheesiness? Look at that. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Cheesy. And Ray Metcalf says, we ain't near a volcano to get lava rock to grind the salsa. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy them at, at uh, the Mexican stores. Okay, and then we're going to take this chunky salsa. Sunny says, having people around you without having people around you. Right, right. It's a whole different thing, right? No, honestly. It, we, we love it. Look at that. I wish you guys could taste it. Okay. So, but you can if you make it. So make uh, it. Ronnie Taylor says, hello. Odetta says, yes. Hmm, yummy. Have a nice day, all of you people. All Open right. Heart says, looks good. I'm hungry now. We're going to try this. Because we've already gone over our hour. We can't do an hour on this show. So, no. as always. Okay, get some salsa. Make sure get plenty of salsa. Yes. And it's going to be hot because it just came out. So, salud. salud. Like all that cheesiness. <laughs> it's okay. I got a whole pan over here. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Out of control. Mason says, first time here from Indiana. I'm heading that off so I don't have to hear my food. Uh, <laughs> Liz Life 747 says, OMG, you did. I read their name. <laughs> Paul from Knoxville, Tennessee. Dulce says, wow. Sonny says, you mean angry. Mm -hmm. Monkey Boy 500 says, what is that? Tamara says. Brown beef enchiladas. And Happy Valentine's Day. It's, it's, it's late. It's but. okay. <laughs> he got waffles and uh, bacon on Valentine's Day. Okay. It was good. 
<laughs> was uh, it waffles? No, French it was toast. French toast. French toast. See, Cameras, I can't I was being romantic. I made French toast. French toast. <laughs> <laughs> you can't roll your R's. You're speaking French. You got to swallow it. I can't swallow my <laughs> You who says, I'll be there in 26 hours. Save me some. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Rawhide says, that looks great. Evelyn says, Rawhide. good morning, camera. Panda girl. Slay yum. Slay yum. Armita says, hey, enchiladas with eggs is breakfast, too. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Hey, Armita. Kim Campbell says, great stuff. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, Hovita says, I'm going to make it awesome. Yes. I'm going to post everything in. I'm going to post a, I'm going to write a recipe, and then I'll post it in the. Um... Your mom says, she did good. Look at that. Aww. Thank you, Mama. Eileen <laughs> Taylor says, oh, my word. That looks amazing. Definitely going to copy your recipe. Thanks yes. for the warm welcome. Have supped. Awesome. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Jobes says, Trish isn't getting any. Rusty's running with the plate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm telling you, most times she threatens to come over. I have to keep telling her, we're going to be rolling around in the yard. And she tries taking my food. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, Mama approved. You know it's good now. Yes. Absolutely. Hey, you know what? Mama, she is an amazing cook. And she taught all five of us kids, the boys included, how to cook. And all five of us. We love to cook. That's the crazy part mm -hmm. is that she didn't only teach us to cook. She taught us the love of yes. cooking. Like shared that passion, shared the passion. There you go. She shared that passion <clears throat> with us. And so that's, what's awesome. Yes. Ray says, we hope you guys have people that cook you a meal once in a while. Oh yeah, definitely. So Rusty's mom makes the absolute best chicken and uh, made chicken and noodles, chicken and noodles. Oh my gosh. And then Rusty's sister, Jennifer, she is an amazing cook. She loves to cook and she cooks all kinds of great things. Uh, my sister is an amazing cook. She probably uh, cooks the closest to the way my mom cooks. Uh, my mom cooks. Mm. <laughs> and then my brother, Jimmy, he's been on here a couple of times. You guys have seen him. He, anytime he comes over, we throw down in the kitchen together and it is just like, our problem is, is we both have ADHD, so <laughs> we end up cooking and, oh, and then we can make this and we can make this. And it's incredible, the craziness. Yes. And uh, my two older brothers, too. They can grill like none mm. other. So Shine. That looks fabulous, Rachel. Yum. And Rusty cooks amazing. He likes to play this. I just sit here and taste the food. But when he throws down in the kitchen. Oh I don't do it very often. It's so good. But I, I can cook a little. I, I can it. boil water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So yeah. it is 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, and uh, we really do need to get off of here and eat some of this food and then get our day started. Yes. You who said, I had a great time, guys. See you next Saturday. If I can remember, bless. Take care. I'll let you know how mine turns out next Friday. Yes, awesome. please do. Please do. Uh, we try to put a video up during the week, but that's not always a guaranteed thing just because we are so busy on the homestead. Uh, once we get into canning and doing those things, I'll have a lot more uh, content for the kitchen that I'm going to be doing anyway. Um, most of the time, by the time we come in in the evenings, uh, it's just throw supper together as quickly as possible and eat so I don't shoot those. But uh, if you do have some recipe requests, uh, let me know. <clears throat> Send me some, you guys. We have email RBA. 101219 at gmail.com. We have a P.O. Box uh, 175. 175 Nowata, Oklahoma, 74028. Or just, uh, we do have Facebook, Instagram uh, under Robertson's Belly Acres. And Send us a message. Uh, yeah, TikTok as well. Send us a message. Say, hey, will you try this? Will you make this? Or if you have something that you grew up make, uh, eating or making, Send me a recipe and we'll try it out. Monkey Boy found her to ask for a recipe for the homemade salsa again. Absolutely. I'll post it in the uh, in the description below. But it is uh, charred and poblanos. I did three, no, two, and then two jalapenos. Half of a uh, yellow onion, uh, three, four cloves, and four Roma tomatoes, all charred. Throw it in your blender. One lime. Uh, juice, um, a tablespoon of um, uh, chicken, bouillon, chicken bouillon, and then a cup of water. That's it. Okay, That's it. We have if a... you want cilantro, you can put cilantro in it. We just don't, we don't like cilantro. I know you're trying to get off here, but yes. we have one question. 
That comes from Killian B. What made you start YouTube? That is a really good question that we don't get to address on this channel very often. So uh, we started YouTube on Robertson's Belly Acres back in 2019. Uh, it's really kind of a silly story. Uh, at the time, we had three young teenagers. We had three teenagers at home uh, and uh, craziness. So they were like, I'm going to be a YouTube star and I'm going to make money. We were like, listen, you're coming up on graduation. You need to start thinking about your future. What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to be? What do you guys, you know, what are you going to school for? What are you, you know, going to whatever? And uh, they were, you know, I'm going to be a YouTube. And I'm like, we were like, that is not even a like, thing. You can't make money on YouTube. Oh, yeah. This yeah. guy, this kid makes $300,000 a year. And we're like, whatever. Yeah, that's He's a dreaming. scam. It's not true, which that is a scam. You don't make that much on YouTube. But <laughs> don't I wish. We but... have a finished kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but my daughter said, I think me and Josh, her boyfriend at the time now they've been married for three years four years yeah. and they have two little ones and one on the way but at, at the time she was she was like um you know we're gonna ha start a youtube channel and we're gonna i said what are y'all gonna do in your youtube channel she said we're just gonna prank each other and i said don't do that that is recipe for disaster one of you guys is going to take it too far and then you're you're going to end up breaking up with each other you know if you want to end your relationship you might as well just do that and she's like no but we want to do something and she said mom i think you and uh rusty should do a uh youtube channel and i was like and what would we do what would we do and here's the thing i was already vlogging, vlogging on instagram and Facebook, mainly Facebook. I had a Facebook page and I vlogged every day. Not like this. I was never on the camera. I would just, when I'd go out and feed, I'd show the animals. And when I was in the garden, I'd show picking the stuff. This was all before TikTok. And so I'd kind of do all of that stuff. And so I was already doing it, just not on the YouTube spectrum. And so then, uh, then what happened? And then we decided, let's, let's try it. Yeah. We're going to just start shooting silly stuff that we do and and you guys, life, if you go to Rob life. Robertson's Belly Acres and you watch our first videos, I mean, this is cringy enough, but it was cr We were just like, <laughs> today we are going to do this. Let's go over here. You know, and it took some time to realize that um, talking to you guys is, is talking <clears throat> to our friends and talking to our family. And that's, yes. that's what we do. So that's how we started. And it started on Robertson's Belly Acres. And then uh, I had a playlist on there called In the Kitchen. And everybody kept saying, you should do a separate channel just for cooking. You need to do a separate channel just for cooking. And we finally, we did that in 2021, 2022, 2022, I think is when we changed it over. Yeah. 2022, we changed it. We uh, started a, a cooking, cooking channel. channel. And so we've been doing the cooking channel. And then uh, the Saturday morning accidental. Um, so we, uh, I said, I don't have, we were sitting at a football game and I was sitting with, uh, one of my best friends, Michelle. And I said, I don't have anything to, I still have to go home and shoot a video so that I can have a video up tomorrow morning. And she said, can't you, can you go live on that channel? I said, yeah. She said, well, just cook breakfast live. And we did, and, and we had we such a good response and this is it. We still have 104 people in here listening. That is awesome. For watching. Um, <clears throat> Evelyn Newman says, I apologize for missing Monday Night Lives this year. I have Bible study on Monday night. That's okay. Totally understandable. Yeah, no big. God first. Yes, that's right. Always. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, Racing King says, hi. Non says, how do y'all? Conley says, I had to leave for a while, but I'm back. <laughs> Mrs. Job says, got to go. Have a great day. Hobita says, thank you, Mr. Mr. Walter Job Jr. Vicky, you guys are family. Oh, thank you, awesome. Vicky. She's from Indiana. Non says thumbs up and share. Yes, thumbs up, you guys. Thank you guys all so much for being here today. It means the world to us to have yes. you guys in our kitchen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking the vertical may be the way to go, but um, yeah. it, it's kind of you know tricky. But we'll we'll get it. We we will evolve. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, God bless you guys. We will see y'all, and hopefully we'll see. James says Lint not doing lives. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Oh, somebody said. Oh, my niece said this year for Lent, I'm going to pick up a bad habit instead. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for all the super chats, the super thanks. Thank you for commenting. Thank yes, you to thank you, our thank you, thank you. moderators for being on it. We made you guys work so hard uh, today. 
Uh, love you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.